So, here it is, election day, and you have just walked into the ballot box to make a decision on whether or not to approve bond debt for your government. Let's start at the end. By election day, the governing entity should have provided the following information in a prominent place at each polling location. The proposition language, the purpose of the proposed debt, and, starting in spring of 2014, outstanding principal and interest on existing debt. Essentially, this information tells you how much the entity owes in outstanding debt and interest and the purposes for which the debt was incurred. But what if you don't see it? Is there another place and time that this information is provided? We'll get to that. But first, you should have some general information about the election ahead of time. Starting at least two weeks before the election, a city, county, or a political subdivision or defined district of a city or county is required to publish an election notice in a newspaper on the same day for two weeks in a row. It must also post an election notice in three public places. For county elections, it also must be posted at the county courthouse. For city elections, it must be posted at City Hall. This election notice basically tells you the nature and date of the election, polling locations, and the hours polling locations will be open. At least three weeks before the election, the governing body must simply post the election notice on the bulletin board of the local governing body and in a public place in each election precinct. For elections ordered on or after September 1, 2013, the rules change so that you are provided more information about debt obligations. Starting at least three weeks before the election, a debt obligation order must be posted in three public places as well as on the internet alongside the election notice and contents of propositions, but only if the entity has a website. The debt obligation order must include the principal amount of the entity's proposed obligations, the estimated tax rate or maximum estimated interest rate on the proposed debt if passed, and the outstanding principal and interest on existing debt obligations. This basically tells you how much your local government entity currently owes and what the newly proposed debt will cost if approved. A general election in November of even-numbered years for state and county officers must be called at least 78 days out from Election Day, and all other uniform elections must be ordered at least 71 days out. An election order includes the election date and the offices and measures to be voted on and is filed with your city or county clerk. To sum up, for bond elections ordered on or after September 1, 2013, Governing bodies must start making bond election information available to you, the taxpayer, beginning three weeks before Election Day. At least two weeks before Election Day, they must publish an election notice in the newspaper and in three public places. And on Election Day, the governing body must provide specific details at each polling place, including the proposition language, the purpose of the proposed debt, and outstanding principal and interest on existing debt. If your governing body isn't publishing and posting this information as prescribed by law, we encourage you to let your elected officials know.